today we are going to start the first unit in your data mining. First we have to know what is data. As we all have studied already database management system in the previous uh, e semester. So we will be knowing what is data. Actually data is nothing but a raw fact. Now coming to your mining. What do you mean by mining? Mining is collecting all the information is nothing but mining that we are extracting the information from different type of customers or it might be from different fields everything comes in your mining. Now if you all can see data, data is nothing but what is your raw fact. Mining is searching large set of data that is what I told we are extracting the data from different set of things. Now. Before going to the next thing, first we have to know how this we are going to get it about the data mining and everything. Nowadays, we are going for a shop or it may be a mall, anything. We do online shopping or we buy groceries through online, anything. So, what are we doing? We are giving our details there. Does we save the details of the shop or the shops will save that? The shops or the malls, whatever we are shopping in, they save the data. And they use this data to get their information about the customers, their willingness about the product or to get any other information regarding them. Now, if you all can see what is data mining. Data mining is nothing but taking out or digging out information from huge data sets obtained from different sources and industries is known as data mining. As I told you, from different sources, it might be your online shopping or it might be through your medical. For example, if you go to an Apollo store, medical store, there you give your number, there you have all the details of whatever the medicines you have purchasing. If you go repeatedly to the same store, he knows what uh, medicines you are using. So all such informations is nothing but your data mining, collecting all the large number of information. Then. Coming to your advantages of data mining, there are few advantages of data mining. The first one is easy to analyze huge data at one go. The same thing again, how they are analyzing huge set of data. Now, as a customer, I go to a shop, as a customer, you go to a shop. I give my details, you give your details. All this is saved in the back end, that is nothing but the database. Whenever they want to know about the quality or Whenever they want to know how the customer is acting for the product, everything, they will be collecting it. So that, that is nothing but easy to analyze, huge data. Next, profitable decision making. Profitable decision making process. Now, the profitable decision making process is nothing but, now as I am a customer, I buy iPhone product. Now, in the same way, how many customers are buying an iPhone there? So, how profit, how much profit they can get? So, they decided based on this data mining. Next is prediction of trends. Prediction of trends is nothing but now the trends are being changing. Before the same example, I continue with the mobile phone. Before what we had, we had a normal phone, basic phone. Then we have moved to the Android phone. Now, this is a change in the trend. So, how it is acting? The change in the trend is acting for the as well as customers as well as the shopkeeper both. That is nothing but they are predicting how the customers are acting for a smartphone, how they are taking it for the basic phone. Now, knowledge based information. What do you mean by this knowledge based information? Knowledge based information is nothing but the knowledge about the product, how the customer is acting, everything comes in this. Next, profitable production. As I told you, the product which is selling more will give profit to the uh, that product more that that is nothing but your profitable production next is your discovery of hidden patterns discovery of hidden patterns is when i in depth go about your da uh, data mining there we talk about your classifications predictions different patterns how we are going to solve it how we are going to take decisions everything in your discovery of hidden patterns next cost effective time effective and effective prediction now why it is cost effective because already i have the customers data with me in the back end i'll just extract the information that's the reason i i don't need to spend any money in it now time effective how it is time effective by sitting in one place i can extract all the information of the customer next prediction now what do you mean by this effective prediction now i can predict about the customer buying history i can predict what next he can buy 
or what is his ideas in buying so this all comes under your advantages of your data mining next when i talk about the applications of data mining there are few applications almost in every aspect we use data mining applications the first one is communication now how it is used in communication the co in communication we use data mining for extracting some information how the customer is acting everything comes in your communication then comes in your insurance how an insurance now a insurance person comes to you and he tells all the advantages of buying that insurance or he gives some extra uh, importance or extra addition benefits to you that is all based upon your data mining only because he has all the related information regarding that and he gives the best offer to you or the for the existing customer or the new customer then comes to the education how in the education you all can relate it to yourself when you are done with your intermediate and everything people come to you or your ssc people come to you and ask for your preferred groups if it is your after your ssc they come whether you are interested for your mpc or by pc everything they analyze the information they take your information and they keep on calling you in education base this happens because how the students are acting to which type of stream let's take your uh, btech itself engineering so how the boom is how the students are acting based upon the csc what is the difference between the csc ec it everything this all predictions come based on your education then comes in your manufacturing now what in the manufacturing as the manufacturer or the producer has to know to buy the pro, uh, to sell the product he has to manufacture how the customer is acting for that product based upon that only he starts manufacturing it for now for suppose i give only one uh, uh, what do you call uh, one laptop in the market i give only one laptop i manufactured only one laptop and i have so sold it in the market my reviews are very good so that my other customers want to buy the same company or same my product so what do i do i increase my manufacturing so how am i doing this again that is also because of your data mining i am predicting because of one customer review there are many customers who want to buy my laptop the same case you can take the best example of your cars if the car is released if the car is clicked in the market the customer waits for 6 months 1 year to get the same car so that is what is about the manufacturing that is one of the application then coming to your banking sector in banking sector mainly we focus on only the financial sector here in the financial sector to give a loan to a customer or to give credit cards to a customer everything comes in picture in the banking here he the banker has to know the customers complete information how are its credit and debit score how uh, if he has taken already a loan how is he paying it is he paying it in uh, on time or or uh, he is he delaying everything comes in your banking then comes with your retail your retail is what your retail is again comes with your online shopping or your mom and pop stores or your grocery stores everything let's take small mom and pop store which is near your house now how that uh, shopkeeper gets the items or purchases the items from the manufacturer how does he do based upon the locality based upon the people coming to him and asking about the products now for suppose 10 uh, houses are asking for the same toothpaste let's take a colgate toothpaste same toothpaste every time repeatedly so what does the mom and pop store owner does he goes to the manufacturer or the dealer whoever is giving him the product he orders more for that colgate because the demand of that colgate uh, toothpaste is more in that area such way it is used for the retailer next coming to your e-commerce here e-commerce i can take the best examples of your amazon and flipkart here what is happening you uh, the seller team has his own uh, ideas to sell the products the customer sees that and he buys the product in that way your e-commerce is used like your reviews everything reviews are nothing but what the information whatever the information already purchased people are giving based on that i buy the product for such cases i can use the best example as i told you for your amazon and flipkart 
Next, your service providers. The service providers, I can take the best example of your SIM cards and your service providers. The service providers, SIM card is what? Based upon your, this thing, what? I take an Airtel SIM card, for example. Okay, first prior, before I had what? I had my Vodafone and Idea SIM card. Because of the network issue and everything, I am moving from my Vodafone Idea to what? To Airtel. Now, what does this Vodafone and Idea customer people does? Service people, he takes the information. Why am I moving from one service provider to the other service provider? What is the use for this? And everything, why is he lagging on? Why the, why the competitor is going ahead? Everything comes in your service providers. This is all about your applications. All these applications are useful for your data mining technique. Thank you.